Hello and welcome to this Affinity software tutorial looking at the stroke option in Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher. Now I'm going to do all of this in Affinity Photo because I'm more comfortable with that program but it will work the same in all three programs. It might, the options may be in slightly different places but they, they are in all three programs. Now this has come about by about two or three different questions that have been posed in Facebook groups and I've just sort of merged them all together to make one sort of tutorial out of this. And the first question is not really about stroke as such but somebody wanted to know why, let me put this onto text, up here and in other places you get a white area with a red line going through it. That just basically means that there is currently no color selected in that area or whatever area there is a red line going through a white background. So that can work with stroke or in this case this is the background color and this is the foreground color so there is no background color at this present moment in time. Um, so that is that option. So now let's look at the stroke option. Now the stroke is the outline or outside edge of an object or text. Um, now we're going to start with text. At the top here we have a bar running along the top and one of the options is the font color. Now I could be wrong here but I think in previous versions like 1.5, 1.6 of Affinity Photo um, I believe it also had the stroke option on the text menu. I could be wrong, but I think there was. But now we're into version 1.7.1. .1. It doesn't seem to be that option, or not obvious anyway. But if you click on the character button, you have in the character panel, the you've got currently this three, four here that have got no color in, which is the background color, which is what is also set up here and the underline color and the stripe through color and the outline color which is what we're looking at which is the stroke color which is also set to none here and you can change the width of the outline with this slider so let us put some text on here and we're just going to go with the word stroke. And what I'll do is I'll just highlight all that. And I'm going to pick a color for the stroke. I'm going to go with this red color here. And then just change the width. And as you can see, the outline or stroke is now red whereas before it was no color at all and if I then take the color away from the foreground color which is that black if I make that none let me just come off of that at all as you can see we've now got the outline which is red and the foreground color is now none so that is that option using text. Now the next question that was asked, let me just shut that down, was about making the stroke a metallic um, fill, a fill from a metallic. Um, it doesn't have to be metallic, it could be any texture that you want. Um, let me just move this up and out of the way a bit. And I'm going to just draw this box here, which at the moment, as you can see, this now does have both options. You've got the fill color and you have the stroke color and you have the option to change the width of that stroke color. So at the moment, the stroke color is set to black. So if I, if I move up the width of that, you have the 
width um, the stroke for the rectangle and it doesn't have to be a rectangle although it doesn't have to be a rectangle and can be you know whatever shape you want so let me just increase the size of this a bit let's go up to about 23 so we can see the next part which is adding the texture or metallic um, shape of uh, texture that was one asked for now for this we need to come to the gradient tool and then the options with the gradient tool you've got along the top here you have context type and then you have color and then you have a few other options here and at the moment the context is set to fill so it's you'd be working on the fill color but we want to work on the stroke color so you can drop down menu and select stroke which is currently set at black but we want this to be a texture so from this drop down menu you can come down to where it says bitmap and then you will have to it will navigate to wherever you have your particular texture that you want to try now I'm going to try this first gold one now these I got from design bundles they are currently offering them for free uh, 15 gold foil and glitter textures whether they remain free forever I don't know but they are currently free to download and I will add a link to them and hopefully they will be free for quite a while so I'm going to try this first one and see what that looks like and as you can see it is now installed that texture into the stroke and you can maneuver that texture around using these handles to get whatever sort of look that you want to go for so let's try it about there so that is basically getting the texture from an image into the stroke now you can elaborate on this a little bit by adding an F if FX to that layer and let's say we go with 3D and get the 3D options you can sort of play around and get a bit more shininess or metallic look to it if it's metallic is the look you're going for and then you could try a bit of beveling emboss and let's, let's just leave it at that come off that tool so as you can see we've now got that metallic texture into the stroke and you can then come back to say the gradient tool and work on the fill if you wanted to change that so that is basically the end of this tutorial looking at the stroke and how to use it and what it's there for and hopefully that answers everybody's questions so thank you for watching and goodbye